so with the Star Wars, I guess, battle pass and quotations. Not really battle pass, but it kind of is. Um, with this cl closing really soon, and with my well Star Wars like in shop and whatnot, I figured kind of now is a good time to uh, review it. We're going to review the free pass, so we're not going to review Darth Maul, as I don't have. I didn't get the pass from this. But we're just going to review the free section, so we're going to review, clo uh, yeah, review uh, Clone Trooper as well as his set that he gets in the free pass. So we're going to check it out, check it out in-game and see what, if, if anything's reactive, see anything is like, see what the skin's all about and just see what's up with it. So hope you all enjoy it and let's go ahead and take him in a locker. Alright, so here's, here's the, the skin that you get from the free pass, the Clone Trooper. Uh, this is completely free, by the way, but you only have a limited time to do this. As it's only, as right now in this recording, you only have one day to do this. So hopefully you guys got that done. But anyway, this is what the skin looks like in the back. The, I think this is the back of, of Republic Warfare. Now keep in mind, I I don't know anything about Star Wars. I never watched the movies, never watched the show. I know a little bit about the. I don't know. I know like the names of some of the characters, but I don't know like all of them. Like I know Mandalorian. I know Darth Vader. Uh, I know uh, Groku. I know some. I know the names of Star Wars characters, but I don't know like what they do or what their purpose is on the show. So bear with me if I kind of don't know anything about Star Wars. I just never watched it, and why not? If it's good, let me know because there's a lot of them. There's a lot of shows, movies regarding it. So let me know if it's worth it to watch. I do have a friend who is a huge fan of Star Wars, so that's. So I probably might ask him about it. Anyway, this is Clone Trooper. Uh, it's part of the prequel prequel trilogy set. He kind of reminds me, in a sense, of like I said, never watched Star Wars. Kind of reminds me of a, um, I think it's a Stormtrooper in the in the Star Wars series. So I think that's probably a difference between those those two. But it's pretty good of a skin. It's kind of simple, black white sort of uh, character you see in the, the show or movie. Pretty cool. This is the back wing, the Republic. Uh, army backpack. Standard issue gear of Republics. I think that's uh, clones. It's kind of simple for backlink. I don't think any of this is reactive, so this could kind of just be like a quick sort of video, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple of a backlink. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I guess it's supposed to be like a, I guess, backpack or some, something inside. I'm not sure, but I guess it's kind of cool. Now, does he have a pickaxe? He doesn't, so. I don't think he does have a glider. Uh, we might as well showcase this since it's in a free pass. Um, it does come with his set, but um, you you get this by doing uh, some challenges, which you can see in locks. You have to unlock a specific. Uh, I forgot what those called, but you have to unlock some specific stuff to get the stiff infiltrator glider, which we'll showcase in game just because oh, why not? It's, it's there that I locked it, so might as well show it off. As well as, uh, he also comes with, uh, Emote, the little, uh, pod racer. i that name sounds familiar from, I guess, it sounds familiar from, I guess, maybe, I, I heard the name from the, from Star Wars, so maybe I might know kind of what this is, but I don't recognize it, just based off of it, but it's kind of cool, traversal. Uh, you get two, uh, sprays, the Galactic Round, Roundel, and Trooper Formation. You get a little Moticon. And you get, I believe, a. Uh, I get. Uh, I think it's a uh, loading screen. I don't know where it's at though. I think it. I think it's. It is this one. Let's see. Uh. Or maybe it could be this one. Let me see. Uh. Yeah, it's that one. So, this is a loading screen that you get in the free pass. So, looks kind of cool. It, it looks so uh realistic in a way. It's so realistic. Can't, it just looks so realistic in general. It looks really clean. And equal uh, Star Wars fans and whatnot. So, is there anything else in the pass that you need to do? Oh yeah, the wrap. So, let's go ahead and check out the wrap real fast. Uh, Camino's Finest. This is clean. Black, gray wrap. Kind of just simple enough. I guess I, if you don't have like any like white, black skin, maybe white and gr maybe gray and black, this, this wrap will be like really well. Uh, for, for combos, so that's that's pretty interesting and cool. We've seen a lot of cam uh, rap camos or wraps like that, so it's kind of unique, but kind of isn't. But it is uh, what it is. So 
we're gonna view all this stuff. Let's go ahead and check this out in game. All right, so this is what the loading screen looks like, uh, full screen. Like I said, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, you guys recognize some of these Star Wars characters. This is what they, this is what they are. It looks pretty cool. I like the background, like their end. They take the, I don't know, it's kind of, kind of cool. See the cool background and whatnot, and pretty cool. Love the loading screen. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the glider first. Sid Infiltrator Glider. I really hope. I think that's how you say it. I didn't remember it. <laughs> I don't remember the glider names. Uh, so yeah, kind of cool. You can see um, it makes a lot of noises. Jesus, kind of a cool like uh, thrust when you uh, push uh, when you, when you when you move forward. Yeah, it makes a lot of sound. Jesus. I like how it came in. Uh, you can see. Uh, look at the glider once it came comes in. I feel like all Star Wars gliders do that uh, now. Like they come in out of nowhere and then they just uh, they push their handles out so that you can grab on. But I like that entrance though. That entrance is pretty uh, clean and whatnot. That's the thing about uh, Star Wars gliders though is that I never run these. <laughs> it's because they're always like too big. Um, yeah, I just never rocked any Star Wars gliders in general. Only just do the fact that it's just like too big, and it just gets in the way like a lot. So, but and usually I would just rock like simple like gliders, I guess. Umbrellas, I I, I usually rock, or either that or just like a normal glider I use. But I guess it's like you Star Wars. I guess it's kind of cool for, for y'all, but I don't know. It's just not my my sort of uh, glider that I like because it's. Gets in the way. It's too much. Anyway, uh, don't mind the pickaxe. Uh, this is what the skin looks like. Kind of just basic in general. Nothing much going on. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's, it's kind of just basic, to say the least. It's literally it's what you see. You guys know what, what this character is from Star Wars? There you go. This is what it is. I don't know. I don't have nothing much to say. Like I said, if I if I was like probably like a big Star Wars fan, I probably would give you like who the character is or who... Uh, the character is like from or what's his purpose, but I don't know anything about Star Wars, like anything. Like I said, I do have a friend though who kind of knows Star Wars like that, so I might ask him like, who is like this character or what's his purpose or whatnot. But that being said, it's a, it's not bad for skin. I I have to say it's really cool, to say at least. Uh, black, white, kind of just simple color scheme. The background is kind of interesting. It's kind of bulky in a way, but uh, it's whatever. Rap is pretty clean. Uh, honestly, it's a, I could see myself. I, if anything, I could see myself using um, the rap more because the rap is just. I don't know. I just. It's kind of. I kind of use basic like sort of raps regarding like skin combos and whatnot. Okay, we got we got someone here. So we'll try to see this thing reactive, which I don't think it is, but we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't seem nothing to be reactive, so I'm not surprised because it didn't say anything reactive. And if so, I wonder what would have been reactive if any is the case. But still, pretty cool skins. I know there's uh other. I know there's another uh skin in the shop. Um, that they, I think it's a recolor of of this. It's cool, but it's just I think it's just like two other skins that are basically like this, but different colors. Like I think it's red and blue. So I guess that's that's kind of interesting, but I feel like they, they should have been hairstyles. But that maybe that that's just me being like, you know, what I'm saying like a non uh, Star Wars sort of guy. But still, it's not bad of a skin. Will I ever run it like daily? Probably not. I probably the only like Star Wars sort of skin that I've run like the most is Mandalorian. I rocked him like a couple of seasons ago. Um, is the fact that I wanted to rock him, I kind of felt like rocking Mandalorian. Him and that, and his, him and uh, Groku, that one is just pretty fun to use lately. I just, I don't know, I kind of just like rocking Mandalorian more. But that's only like the, that's the only like sort of Star Wars uh, skin alpha I mainly use. And when I say mainly, I, I mean just like a couple like times. <laughs> but. It's still a sought after skin in the meantime. It's pretty cool, to say the least. Nothing too uh, crazy. Let's go ahead and showcase um, the two uh, 
sprays in Mortal Kombat real fast. Alright, so here are the, oh yeah, we also have the emotes showcase. So let's go ahead and showcase, let's go ahead and showcase this one. Galactic uh, Poundle. Now I don't know what this is a resemblance of, but it's cool. Nothing much uh, going on with it. Uh, here's the other one we can showcase real fast. Uh, hold on, the augment. <clears throat> Alright, Storm Trooper Formation. I think this one's better than the other one. I like this one. It's kind of cool. The three store three uh, clone troopers represent with the back with the background. So yeah, kind of, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Okay, here's the emoticon. Oh, animates. I didn't even realize that. What the heck? Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and get in here. Showcase it again. I like that. That's kind of, that's it. I never realized that. Cool. Alright, let's go showcase it real fast. These two again. There you go. And there you go. And here's the emotes. The little pod racer. Is it traversal? Yeah, it is traversal. Okay. That's kind of cool. I've always I've always I've always liked traversal emotes to say the least. I I don't know. It's kind of just cool. Whether it's something like an object or something simple like. Or even like a collab using like uh, someone using something in like in a collab. Whenever it's traversal, I I've always liked the traversal emotes a little bit better than regular ones because they're kind of just cool moving around. Especially if you have like um I forgot there was an emote call, but it was for uh the cartoon like Meowsles. It's like a little I think it's a train emote or something like that. The fact that that emote's like traversal and sync is pretty cool. I want I I kind of want more traversal emotes like that, but yeah, this is kind of cool. Like I said, anyone who knows Star Wars, they probably know what that is. So yeah. So that being said, that's basically it. Uh, little, like I said, a little short video popping off. I have a, I have some videos I have to uh, get ready to uh, showcase and whatnot because I believe we have I have this to showcase and as well as uh, the free quest pack that came out a couple of days ago that I want to showcase. So. Yeah, there's more to come regarding uh, this, and hopefully you all enjoy it. Enjoy like the Fortnite skin content and stuff. All right, y'all, but I'm I'm gonna end right here. Uh, we'll showcase the legend one one more time, but uh, that's basically it. We showcased uh, the free, like I said, the free stuff that you get in the little Star Wars tab. Uh, make sure y'all complete that because it's like I said, it's only limited. It's limited, and it's like one day, so. I'm kind of doing this before it ends, so yeah. I completed this a couple of days ago, like two, three days ago. So, and I figured out, like, you know what? I'm just gonna showcase it, have fun with it, and whatnot. Oh, I didn't realize this. If you also get the bonus reward, you get the this style. So you get Darth Maul. Oh, so wait. Oh, okay. So this is what I was talking about. The two skins here they are. So that's kind of cool. Here's a, I guess you can showcase it. Uh. Yeah, here he is. I guess it will showcase. You guys are kind of wondering, like, what the hell uh, they look like. And Darth Maul, of course. And the premium pack, or whatever you get with it. Anyway, I'm ending right here. That was showcasing Cloak Trooper and, and the free stuff that you get in the past. Let me know your thoughts on it. And if y'all like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.